Hi, this is Joe Artis, and I want to tell you about a client named Janie that I was able to help recently with her Wheaton Terrier mixed dog named Abe. Abe was pulling on the leash quite severely. Now, this is a common behavioral challenge that many people experience as dog owners. After about 20 minutes of showing Janie how to properly walk her dog on a leash and using the Safe Calm Collar system, I was able to get this video. It's amazing. I can't stand it. I'm so excited. It's like it's like a different dog completely. This dog, not a bad dog, just a crazy wild puller. The first time I've ever been able to walk him with a absolutely go out like a rocket. He's like a rocket ship. Now he's like a contained rocket ship. And now move, move on in. This is very important for your husband. Sit. Touch the rear end. Sit. Okay. Stay. Put the hand up in front, in front of him. Stay. I want to put him down, but I want to, I want to elicit a response. Right. Because I want to show your husband how to put him down. Okay. Take a back. Take a back. Okay. Touch on the rear. Sit. There you go. Touch on the rear. Sit. Okay, Sit. one more. Okay. 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 Let's, let's move on in here. See the licking of the lips? <laughs> Correct that. <laughs> See how I'm correcting it? Same way. <laughs> Until the licking of the lips stop. We want him to act up. <laughs> we want him to. I don't know if he's going to. Yeah, he's a, he's uh, he got a little age on him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you see how I did that? He's going to try to get up, but he can't because I got him right here. I'm holding him here, and I got him right in the crux of his neck. He can do all that that he wants, just like that. See? No way you can get there. Now, what I'm going to start to do now is I'm just going to start to rub his belly a little bit. As I rub his belly, I let the pressure up here a little bit. Don't worry about the ground. This is what I want you to do. Whatever he growls at you, take him down. Take him down. Is this like an act of submission? Yes. Yes. Come on down this way. Whenever they're on their belly, mm -hmm. I know. on their on their back. I know because I've heard. Yeah. They submit to one another. I'm not trying to. So now we switch to submission. Whenever he growls at you, human. Any time that you don't want him to growl, take him down. He was an easy takedown. <laughs> right. I expected a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't even tough today. Yeah. He's being mellow around you guys. I yeah. hate to say it. <laughs> well, what we did is, the, the reason he is is because when we first came in, we whispered him. So he got something that he never really had right. before. Was someone talking to him in his language sure. and his psychology. He's got a little bit of a tiny behavior issue, but not a big one. Okay? Right. So he's kind of in between like, oh, I... I like it, but you know what? I'm gonna stick my chest out a little bit more. Right. And so you gotta put him down. How long do you want me to hold him down? Okay, keep keep it on his neck. Now, a good submission is when you raise your hands up and he stays down. So just raise him up about an inch or two off of it. 
Okay, now get up and take them right back over here and make them sit. <laughs> take them right back over there and make them sit. Normally I wait to, you know, with insecure dogs, I'm really patient. Sure. Dominant stay. dogs, I'm not so patient. Right. Look at it. Tell them to stay. Good Touch. Stay. Okay. If he moves next time, get him right in the corner of the neck. Okay. Stay right here and look at it. I want you right here. There you go. That's right. Good job. Maybe. Side submission is the ultimate. Oh, oh.